Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to send a reply in Gmail on your Android phone. We'll also go through how to add or remove email recipients and how to change the subject of your email. Let's get straight into it. I'll start by opening the Gmail app on an Android phone. And you can see I'm in the email inbox. If a message is shown in bold in your inbox, this means it hasn't been read by you yet. We spend more time reading and replying to emails than we do sending new mail. But it's not super clear in Gmail how to send a reply or how to make any changes to a reply before sending your email. In Gmail, to do anything useful with an email we have received, we first need to open it. I can open any of the emails in my inbox by tapping on it once. When I do that, the email is loaded for me to read. If I want to just quickly reply to only the sender of this email, I can click on the reply icon on the right hand side of the email. If I do that, a new reply page is opened by Gmail. The cursor has been automatically placed in the section of the email where you write the details you want to send. However, if you wish to, you can tap in the subject area of the reply email and rewrite or amend this by adding any changes. Once we're happy with that, we can then quickly write a response and then send that email off by clicking once on the blue arrow icon in the top toolbar of this page. Gmail then confirms that your reply has been sent. You may, however, want to reply to more than one person in an email. Returning to our original email, I can find the reply to all option by clicking on the three dots next to the reply button on the right of the email. Be careful not to confuse this with the identical three dots more options icon that is shown at the very top of this page. Once I choose that option, a number of choices are shown, but the one we're interested in is reply all. I'll tap on that once to choose it. A new email window then opens up and you can see that a number of email recipients are shown. The original sender of the email is shown in the to row and anyone else has been added to the CC row. CC stands for carbon copy and just means they are sent a copy of the same email you are sending to the original email sender. If I want to remove anyone from this email, and you can choose to do this for any email address from the to or CC rows, all you need to do is tap into that row next to their name and you can delete that email recipient by pressing the delete key on your keyboard. Of course, in order to send an email, you need to make sure that at least one email address is kept in the reply. You may also want to add an email address to a reply. Any additional email addresses can just be added in the usual way by tapping into the to or CC rows. If I start to type an email address, you'll see that some names are suggested by Gmail. If you have sent an email in the past, or even if you've only received them, Gmail may remember the email address details that were used and recommend them to you. To choose one of the suggested names, all you need to do is tap on it and the name will be added to your reply. If you don't see the name you're looking for, you can just type the full email address you want to use and then press the return key on your keyboard to add it to the email. There may also be circumstances where you want to send a copy of the email to someone, but you don't want everyone in the email to know that they have seen the email. To do that, we use a hidden row called BCC. BCC stands for Blind Carbon Copy, and you can open this row by tapping on the down arrow shown to the right of the to row. If I tap into the BCC row, I can add an email address in the usual way. They will receive a copy of the reply, but no one else who receives the email will know that they have seen it. As before, I can also tap into the subject line and choose to make any changes in the email title. In this case, however, I'll just write a quick response and I'll send that off by clicking once on the blue arrow icon in the top toolbar of the page. As before, Gmail confirms that the reply has been sent. I hope you found this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks so much for watching.